Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even it, you know if it's about the, the reply of the the positive feedback to the content of the video and if you feel like you know you really can resonate with it please go ahead and share it will be greatly appreciated and as always you know the I, I send out so many love and blessings and also towards myself that you know I'm divinely protected and I'm blocked from any ill will or any kind of hidden intent or you know motives or agendas that other people have they're just not so nice so I'm going to turn that back to sender and say mine's going to be with love blessings and upheeling in all forms um, and the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. It's like, hey, Ocas, you know, when day when days come where well, you just don't feel like being strong all the time. I tell people that all the time. We go through moments, and it'll be the strongest people. It was like, girl, you are strong. I'm like, hey, there'll be sometimes I, I may act like a thundercat, but those <laughs> sometimes I have to pull the claws back. <laughs> you know, I be having my weak moments. And it's just like, that lets you know you're a strong individual when you sit up here and say, you know what, there's moments I have, moments of weakness. Some folks feel like, you know, um, it, it's not good to cry. You know, because there'll be different times. I'm not even going to lie if you on here. I'm like, whoo, give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Or you'll just see me crying. I ain't even going to lie. They ain't even for no likes, no attentions, no, you know, shares or anything like that. I'll be in my feelings at times. Cause I, I could be going through something really heavy. And like I tell people... And, you know, this is very therapeutic for me. It's just like my video diary that I'm sharing with people that can truly understand. Even people that are going against me. You know, there's something that you can take out of it, even if you don't like me. You know, and it, it's just like I, I, I had to learn to just give love and blessings towards everybody. You know, even to somebodies that are, are not wishing good for me. You know, we're all going through a war that... A lot of times we feel like we're the only ones that understand. Because a lot of times people, like I said before, people feel like that's a weakness to cry. It's the weakness to be in your feelings for it. No, that is actually a strongest gift. It's okay to be sensitive like that. I said because when you're doing that, you're just showing people I'm just like you. Because there'll be a lot of times where we, we oh, excuse me, I'm sorry y'all just ate. <laughs> that came up and I said, ooh, it gave me a, a, a little bit relief for uh, whew, peace. And understand it. but anyway sorry about that but um you know you're going through different things in your life and I, I could be that person where somebody called you know text me I'm like hey girl how you doing and I'm like and I'm wiping away tears oh I'm okay you know and a lot of us do that and it, it'll be like you know sometimes it's like it, it's a lie because I'm feeling broken today I'm feeling very vulnerable but I had to get in that vibration yeah I'm feeling broken and uh broken and vulnerable but I'm, I'm still going to be okay. And you putting that out to the universe. Because every day you're going to have your moments of weakness. That don't mean you're not strong. You know, and I tell people that there'll be different days where we just feel like we're so discouraged, we're so defeated, like this life and th this life's with misery and mishap and enemy feel like they winning everywhere around the corner and they, I mean, they ganging up, you know, they, they multiplying and stuff like that. Like, I'm never going to get out of this situation. And you get like that. You can really, really get like that. And these are the, the moments like, you know, this everything is temporary. You know, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. This is why we have to live like today is going to be our last day. Because it, it, it could be, you know, it makes me think about my mom a lot. Uh, God rest her soul. You know, where her, she didn't have a good upbringing. You know, she didn't have a good marriage. And stuff like that. You know, she didn't, you know, she had children. It was just like we were going in our own moments of mishap. And it was just like I know that that just gave her a lot of gray hairs, you know. And when when my mom, even though I, I was like so angry with her because she didn't tell me that she was dying. And then I, it got to that moment where there's times where I really mourned her, you know, because there'll be times. I mean, her birthday just passed on the 13th. And it was like I was proud of myself because I didn't allow myself to get in my feelings and really, uh, really just get in, you know, depressed. Because I can get like that. That's just anybody who has lost a parent. And um, it was just like I was proud of myself because I knew that my mom was in a better place. I know she has lived this life. She experienced it, you know, the best way she knew how. But I mean, she went out like an OG. 
you know, because it was just like when when I say my mom hit, I mean, it just broke me in so many ways to see my mom. But it was just like she had body cancer. She had emphysema. That woman ain't never smoked. But it was like all of us smoked, you know, my, my sister, my brother, my mom's ex-husband. And I did, you know, um, and uh, she had like uh, tumors and aneurysms and stuff like that. And then she had problems with her heart and had C. diff and PF, uh, P, P, E, D. Yeah, I think that's what peripheral artery disease. And it was like seeing her like that, you know, and it made me think about the stuff that, you know, went through. And it was just like, I have, I'm blessed because the fact is I don't dwell on how she suffered. You know, I just try to make her life as comfortable as I could, you know, giving her many petties, you know, reading the Bible. I said, you want me to bring tabloids today? Because she had the star and the inquire. Like, no. I said, you want me to read the Bible? She was like, yeah. And, you know, and, and then on top of that, you going through Alzheimer and dementia at the same time of having all that going on with you. And it was like, I was so angry because it was like the doctor came out and it's like, well, didn't you know she? we only gave her days or months to live and it just took me aback because it was like when all these things happened, I knew something was going to go on that day or I've been knowing it for a while because I would have so many dreams about my mom's friend and you know they were both like my godparents and stuff like that and I seen my mom and it, it was just like her dressed in white and I'm like I always had these dreams and it would just be like it'll stop at a moment like and, it, and it'll be like this and this was like one of my moments of my many awakenings and it was uh like I always tell my mom I'm like I keep having this dream about you and it was like Mama Cash and Aunt Ruby is on the side and it's like it, it reminded me of um what was the movie Constantine like it was it was heaven it was hell and you did smack in, 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 in the middle and they kept on telling me come back I'm like no nah, I'm not leaving my mom here you know and, and she was like baby we all we, we you know it's a circle of life and it, it, it's just like when I thought about all the stuff my mom been through and it was just like life is too short life is too short I, I caught myself getting emotions y'all I'm sorry um where even what I can feel her right now and it's just like I'm proud of you because it, it was just like you because my it was like before my mom really well she was sick and she told me there's gonna be things I'm gonna find out about my life that is gonna be really messed up you know and I'm just like mom what are you talking about and, and she couldn't tell me you know, because it was just like, I've never seen my mom. She was not that type of emotional person. You know, it, it was like, I, I couldn't even get a hug from her. I haven't got, you know, I couldn't remember the last hug I got from her. It was like when I was little. But just to see my mom into that vibration and knowing that scare her. She was like, mom, baby, please find your daddy. You know, because I was adopted. It's like, please find your daddy. You know, because I, I feel like something going to happen. And just to see her, you know, and she's this beautiful woman with this melanin skin and got these crazy blue eyes. You know, my mom's like, she was like uh, Morris Chestnut uh, skin complexion and she had these silver blue eyes, you know, and that always just stick out. And she was just telling me, I, I know you're going to go through something and, you know, you're going to find out a lot of things. But just know I did love you. I don't care what anybody say and I wanted you to know who your your family was and she just left it at that and it just made me think about that when this is that situation it really shook me she had dreams about the situation I'm in now hell I even had dreams about the situation I'm in now and I used to cry for days used to be crying for days and I would sit up here and look at her ex-husband and he would try to come coddle me and I'd be fighting him at five years old just mad like get off me well, you were calling that I wasn't calling you and you know and there'll be those moments and it was just like it brought me to this moment I'm talking about there's days that it's not okay for me there's days that I gotta sit and my tears my pain my sorrow even if it's self-pity for that moment you know and it, it, it brings me back to say you are a strong individual a lot of things that you are facing right now it don't end well for anybody who's on a situation that you are it is bringing in a lot of times we try to understand why God placed that kind of pain in our lives. And it is just like, even though this is happening to you, this is not about you. It's about the people you are going to come in connection with. The people that's going to need to hear your experience on what you have gone through. The things that you face. The things that you constantly face. Because it's hard when people know the truth and want to keep that truth out. 
pe- you don't have people to turn to. You are in vulnerable states because the fact is the people that you should be running to pr- protection is the main ones that's trying to end you. And I had to be okay with that. That's not something good you want to be able to live with. And it's like I had to be that person that has to be at peace with saying it's okay to not be okay. But a situation you're facing, it could have been a lot worse. And it's like what I'm going through, how could it be a lot worse? You could be in that dark place that it, it don't end well for you. You could have been pushing 10 to 15, 10 to 25 years to life, death, with the, with the moments and thoughts that was going through your head. But God made a different path for you. Even though it's not easy, it's not easy to face with what you're going through. It's not easy to uh, wake up every day with a smile on your face, being grateful to be able to be breathing. Because there'll be different times you, you can face something really hard, really hard and not want to live anymore. I've been there, you know, and there'll be different times where you're trying to understand the things where it, it, it's like you it's hard for you to even have the verbiage to say I'm blessed for the things that I've gone through you know um, I'm grateful to still be here to be able to have a smile on my face when there's so many days that I want to break down you know I've lost so much in my life you know why does God still have me here you know what purpose do I have when I don't find a purpose in wanting to live anymore because the pain gotten so great. And when you're going through stuff like that, it's okay to not be okay. Because this was not supposed to be one of these type of videos, but it took me there. And it makes me go ahead and shine the light on so many things that I face. Because there will be things that I say I'm not going to talk about no more. Because it number one, it was so great, but I have made peace with that. But then there will be times where... Sometimes you're going to have to shine a light on that because somebody may need to hear that because they're, they're facing a lot of things that has broken them down. It made you feel defeated. It's made you feel discouraged, made you want to give up on life altogether because that pain became so great. And it's just like when you're already trying to struggle to, to live, to breathe, there's always somebody around that corner that wants to remind you of something you're really trying to let go of. I understand that. People envy you because you still have the courage to keep moving when they want you to be gone. You know, we're that, that person that uh, that are ending things that really truly need to, to break in our in our lineage. You know, our, our generation within our family. You know, it, it's probably been, you know, we can be going through the hellish situations from what was passed down. It could be like three generations back. It was like 20 million times worse. You know, especially if you're a person of color, you know it was bad. You know, I see different things where I, I, I remember certain moments of life before this time I have here. And that mess is very traumatizing, especially with the gifts that you have. It's like, you you know, being able to have gifts that you, that you are able to associate with people that have passed on. And a lot of times when you connect heavy with them, they will show you why they were like they, like they you know, they were. Or you see the moments on what took them out in transition. And a lot of times with mine, it'll be a stigmata that I'll feel. And I never thought that was possible. But there'll be times that it'll be right before somebody's death. And it'll be a lot of people that are in the industry or in the light. And I'll feel different things where my, my skin will burn for like 10 or 15 minutes. And it'll go away and I'll be in shock. Or I can't do videos a certain day because I don't went through... Whoever don't pass through me because it's a lot of times where if you're that type of person where you know there's going to be a big shift there, they'll, you'll have moments of glimpse of, um, of a demise on somebody, you know, passing away, you know, or you'll have a feeling that somebody has, you probably been like this since you were little, it'd be certain people that you, you know, you'll shy away from the like, you know, you were that type of person that hug and I'll get them like, uh-uh. My daughter, even my oldest daughter was like that. She ain't like that no more what she is, but she just scared. She's like, why do people always come to you? You know, I'm like, because you scared of your gift. And it'll be like, I'm like, oh, you got dead people around you. Like, ah, no, no. And it was like, how are you not scared? And it was just like, you really don't know how we, we got people watching down over us. There'll be people that we really love or that was assigned to us. And, and they watch over us all the time. Shoot, they protect us from things we didn't even know, you know, it, any have any knowledge of. But it, it's just like, well, my gift, there's a lot of people that are like that. And they were like, what is that? And I say, that's a conduit. 
you know you, you're a kind of spender, spiritual conduit but it's the anchor at the same time it's like universe will guide you and let you know different things about somebody's uh, uh, spirit that is about to go through you and it's like it's not a devilish thing because a lot of people are like oh my god that's devilish I'm like no there's a lot of us with gifts out here and there'll be sometimes you trying it, it's hard for you to be able to explain because you don't want to be judged you don't want to be sound like you're crazy but there's a lot of people that are guided towards me and then i'll and i'll i'll get an image of somebody or i'll hear a name or or i'll tell them a certain you know it'll be a vehicle or a certain situation where that person i'm past and it was just like i'm gonna give you this information because this person got trust issues they don't really believe in what they have but they'll know um, there will be a situation where you have no way of knowing it, you know, and I'm, I'm going to bring that person towards you. And there will be sometimes people are like, wow, so I don't want the psychics, I don't want the mediums, I don't want the tarot card readers. And I went searching for, you know, my family members of this, that, and the third, and they couldn't tell me. But why you can be able to do that through an email, through a text message. I said, num number one. You have to understand, if that person is doing this for personal gain, a lot of people, you know, do this for money, you know, or they're doing this for deception. You know, some people don't have good intentions when they're connecting with you like that. You know, I'm not saying all folks are like that, just like people come, hey, I feel this energy about you. Hey, I already do my own card reading. Thank you, but no, thank you. I'm good. There'll be certain things people just want to get in the middle of or being able to put some kind of weird juju on your path. I'm like, no, I'm good. I, I don't need that. If it's meant for me, it'll come to me. You know, it, I'll, I'll go to it or it'll come to me. To me. It ain't going to be something forced by you hitting me up in the DMs and saying you feel my energy and do I want a reading. I just don't, you know. But it, it'll be different things where it comes on that it, it'll be a shock of nature for me because sometimes it really surprises me. And a lot of times people are like, Rosalyn, I couldn't have that gift. Because it'll be different times I've been here where it'll be a, a celebrity will be out there and I'm just like, oh, this is about to happen. I don't know what it is. And it, it'll be something I'll feel through that connection. Like I'll be right there. Like it, it can be, I don't want to get into details because that's kind of like, Ooh, it's bringing in something but it could be like if it's a car accident you're sitting right there if it's a plane accident you're sitting right there you're seeing everything you're seeing exactly what's going on and whatever takes them out you're gonna feel it too and it'll be for like you know sometimes it be with people for uh five or ten minutes or it can go throughout that day you know it just depends on who you are what kind of vibration you have on that and what kind of rank you're in because there's a lot of people that are are open to that gift and they know the more they heal and the more they're open to that in, in spirit it intensifies and mine is very intensified could be different times i woke up with blisters on my hands or you know seeing my dad die and all that junk and that, that's something i don't even like but it, it's just something that you're 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 assigned to but you, you go through different things into your life um, where it's not easy for you to take that first breath in the morning and say, okay, you know, I got to be grateful for today. And you're going through grief. You're going through trying to understand yourself on this vibration because you've just been hit with a moment of truth that you, you didn't even know that was there or you having to understand your whole life was a lie, <laughs> you know. And it's like as soon as I said that, I got chills. And um, you're going through those moments. And, you know, I, I, there'll be a lot of days, especially when it comes to moments of birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day, you know, um, a day of anniversary. It really hits hard. And I have to go into the back cave a lot of times or I have to put a brave face on and get through the day and say, I'm not going to allow this to stop me. You know, there's a lot of things that I don't understand. There'll be days I'm angry because I don't have answers. There'll be days I'm angry when people are trying to stop me from anything um there's days that you know I, i'm just really trying to forgive myself because there was moments where i seen different things that just didn't sit right with me and i didn't ask, ask enough questions or i'll be that one that was hard-headed and then the one time i should have been hard-headed i wasn't and i have to be able to understand don't dwell on missed opportunities things happen the way they happen for a reason you know we have to be able to just appreciate what took place you know uh, what, what, uh, where this moment is taking you right now in a positive, being able to, to embrace the negative to know soon it will be a positive for you. You, you going through growth in so many different ways. And a lot of times it's hard for us to digest that pill called truth, you know, cause sometimes we choke on it, you know, 
and I had to learn to be transparent. I had to allow myself to not seek for approval. I had to learn to not um, allow myself to make everybody understand where I was coming from. It, it'll be that point where if, if you can vibe with what I'm speaking on or you can really resonate to the depths of it. And you can sometimes you can watch stuff and it'll pull emotions out of you. Like I said, I hate being sensitive all the time. But I try to make light of different situations to be able to bring some kind of funny out of it like I say in my videos a lot of times you gotta laugh to keep from crying we all got a story that we gotta tell but it is just like there'll be moments where you know okay you said it this moment now it's time to not dwell on that and it'll be you know and then a lot of times God will break that mold and want to resurface that wound and it's like this is something that you gotta talk about you know um but you're talking about it from a healing vibe you know but it was just like you know moments come out of like ugh hate crying man you know i can see my face getting red and you know you're choking up on your words but people can understand that even the ones that don't really you know vocalize on their emotions because it's like if i open that door it's hard for me to shut it or if i say something will they truly understand what i'm going through or if i say this am i gonna be judged by different things and it's just like you 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 get to that moment where it's okay to not be okay you know there'll be different days that is it's just like i can be okay and just be laughing about stuff and there'll be days that i'm just like i don't want to get out of bed you know and it's even the the when i can allow myself to be active on certain things that's in my life it was hard for me to be active it was called sitting in a depression you know and I congratulate myself that day even it was like girl that was just so little but that's a big for me even that little adjustment was a big for me because I could have been that's how you kill demons all the time the devil and enemies want you to stay in that defeated emotion because that that keeps your power that's keeping you from away from acknowledging your power recognizing that you know and there'll be times where you know what I'm gonna stop holding myself in, in a vibration that was only meant for me to have a temporary moment. This is a temporary moment that is, is a big uh, impact for a swift change in direction. You know, you had to be able... There's a lot of times where you go through mess like that where, you know, you might lose a child and God forbid. Or, or you lose a parent. Or, you know, different things like that. And it's really hard when you lose anybody. You know, it's worse when you lose a child because the fact is you in that vibration... You know, especially when you're a parent, you know, when my kids, they were like, Ma, you worry too much, Ma. I said, when you become a parent, you will understand. You know, you when, when I, I used to get so mad at my kids when they would call me at late at night. I'm like, man, look, I, I, my heart can't take it. What's going on? Mom, I just need to talk. I broke up with my boyfriend today. I'm like, oh, girl, damn. You know, I'm like, go ahead. But I, I was like, when you become a parent, that, you know, when you get that late, late night call that, you know, when you, when, especially when you see it. On, on TV and stuff like that sometimes it can hit you when you don't have kids but it hits people different you see different you know different things where you get a call that you know you have to identify your child or you get a call from one of the friends and say something happened to them because they got into a domestic issue or a dispute you know there's so many different things where people are going home left and right you know and you know and you just really don't know like I was seeing one the other day and I still had that vibration about uh, Fort Hood. I say anybody who is there in the military, that is not the best way to go. And especially if you're a female or or you, you stumble upon something you're not supposed to. You know, a lot of times there you, you find that not, uh, you, you, your is and turn into a was, you know, real quick. And you're trying to understand that. And it's like not really trying to get that out there because allegedly... You know, people don't want you doing that because you're talking about government. But there's a lot of things that it is like, it's not easy for women. You know, and I was uh, looking at the one, uh, I think her name was Vanessa. And it was just like hearing her situation. And it was like, you know, I, I'm just crying because I'm watching this and I'm getting angry. Because, you know, you it, it, a, lot of a lot of times it's hard when you see, okay, that, that person lost a child. Or that person lost a, 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 a sister or a mother. But it's just like, you don't realize when that one person died, it's like about a million's dying with them. 
you know, it, it, you don't just lose it, but it'll be the, even if it's a person that took their life, then it's that person, that person's family mourning somebody too, because that person either don't took their life because they don't took somebody else's, or they're now and they're in jail, they don't lost their freedom, all over, you know, a temporary emotion that made a permanent solution, you know, a permanent issue, whatever. But it was just like just because of that happening with her, you know, all of a sudden they, they got a new uh, uh, law out like when certain things is going on especially if you're you know because you get it's a big issue when you cheating especially if you're in the military that they, they don't play that you know and the man took her, her life because she you know stumbled on something she wasn't supposed to know and it was like i i cried for that 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 the fiance because he had to find out on social media you know what went on i, I feel like that is the most hurtful way you know, for you to find out stuff on social media, especially maybe when I say that, maybe think about Vanessa, Vanessa and her, you know, and Kobe Bryant's family. That mess pissed me off to the third extent. Like, wow, you know, you didn't even give that person respect. You worried about likes, views, and money because you want to get that first like. And I'm the first thing, the first question I had: How did you know that was his thing? That's why I'd be making me feel like there's some conspiracy behind certain stuff like that. Like, how did you know that was his dad on plane that went down? And it, it, I mean, it, it's like the, the, the fire didn't even sizzle yet. You knew that. And that's why I be thinking, like, a lot of times this stuff be plotted. And they know stuff. Like, how do you know stuff like that? And even the family don't know before you know. And you're, you're a, you know, you're a gossip thing. But um, different stuff like that. But then it was just like when she passed away, there was a bill. And a lot of times we're in that vibration of really seeing things deeper. And then sometimes it's like it's sad that something very dramatic has to happen like that for them to set a law, for them to set a bill. Or a person loses their life and then, you know, they decide that they want to be able to donate organs and stuff like that, you know. And there's just so many different things that's going on. Just like when I was watching a situation with Ann Hayes the other day and I was just like, Dad, she was really cool peoples, you know. And and it was just like you never know what somebody's going through. You know, they're dealing with things. A lot of us, you know, not saying she had any addictions like that, but there's a lot of things we don't know behind closed doors that happen to people. And it was just like I guess she got into one fender bender right before that and you see her flying down the street. And it was just like I knew in my gut I was just like, Lord, here go another one. You know, because it was like, I think it was her, then it was Olivia, Newton, John, I was like, God, dog, you know, and it's just like all these people, you know, it, it's a circle of life. But, you know, we go through different things in life. Y'all know I, I'm like I ADD, you know, OCD, I'll skip a <laughs> subject and transfer to something else, got to keep up. But, you know, just going through different things in life, um, it's okay to not be okay. You know, there'll be a lot of times where we're affected by everything around us. That's what empaths do. And it, it's just like, it sucks at times because we'll take it personal from everything that's going off in the world. And we get angry because it's just like, people kill people. Now it's just like, you, you can't, you know, somebody cut you off accidentally on the road. And next thing you know, you got bullets going flying out and, and they, you know, now it's just like, you can't take your kids to school. You ain't safe going nowhere. You know, it's not, it'd be like, shoot, you know, so much stuff going on in the world. Let me go ahead and just stay home, work from home, you know, have my child homeschool. Next thing you know, you have delivery coming over. The next thing you know, you're getting shot up just for stuff like that. It is, it's like, it's no safe in the world. And it's like, we really have to do better. We really have to do better. It's like when we go through healing and we go through opening our eyes to craziness in the world, the diversity in the world, we start taking stuff a lot personal. You know, you that earth angel here. You know, you trying to make things right and be like, here y'all go hitting it up to God daggone church's money. You know, and be in one of those modes like, why? Why? Why do you have to do this? Why do you got to be so ignorant? Why do you have to be so prejudiced towards different people? Why do you have to be racist? You know, doing different things. We got enough going on in the world. You want to add ignorance to it. You know, and it's just like that. But if you have in one of those modes where you're going through changes, it's normal. You know, it's like update, news flash. It's normal. You know, if you're going through things, don't think because you cried that is a moment of weakness. I feel like when you try to act like everything was okay, that's being weak. Because there'll be times, you know, when you, when people aren't around and you would just bawl your eyes out and be trying to, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, everything's okay. You know, and I mean, sometimes it, it, it's like you don't want to add a damper to somebody's life. 
or sometimes you know people are hoping you are in bad moves just because they don't care for you they got a lot of other personal things going on so misery loves company is like that as well but when you know you've gone through some things sometimes you got to be able to prep yourself today is not an okay day but i'm gonna be okay I'm allowing myself to face this. I'm allowing myself to heal from these different things. I'm allowing myself to understand things happen for a reason. You know, things are here for a season. You know, life is too short. I can't sit and allow myself to stay mad at people because of things that they did they're not sorry for. Or the things that they're not owning up to their part. You know, I can't allow myself to do that. You know, this is my life. If I want to be, you know, prosperous in the world, I have to be able to do that. You know, and you have to be able to be, you, I mean, you have, like I made the video yesterday, you got to be aggressive when you want change to take place into your life. If you know you want good, you have to start speaking like that. You start got to start envisioning like that. It's so easy to fall back in old ways and worried about what somebody did to you. That's what the devil wants you to do is stay focused on different things that are totally out of your control. The only thing you can do is acknowledge, okay. Every, every dog got his day every, you know there is, is always darkness before the dawn and whatever's done in the dark comes to light whatever comes out it don't come out in the wash your dad gonna show come out in the rinse you know there are a lot of things you cannot sit up here and hold in the truth for too long you know you, there's a lot of things you can't sit up here and hold out for too long the sun the moon and the truth you know you're gonna have to keep moving if you want life to become better you have to be in that vibration of where you have to stay focused on everything you're wanting to happen in your life. You can't dwell off of certain things, you know, like they say. You, it, it's kind of like, hey, it feels like a catch-22. You can't sit up here and, and allow yourself to marinate in the past and stay stuck there because it's like it it, it happened, but you in the present. You got to stay in the now. You're creating something for the future, but they don't want you to try to wonder how it's going to happen, what it's going to happen. When you know you're like, I deserve this, I deserve peace in my life, I deserve happiness, all the abundance and prosperity in the world. Whatever God blesses me with, I want him to give me enough to bless other people. And you be in that vibration and like, you know, you're really like, oh shoot, you finally understand it now, huh? We're going to make it happen for you. We're going to put you in places you weren't expecting to be. We're going to have people speaking your name that you ain't never been at. There's going to be some people that going to tell people about the people and the people to people. Your situation is going to be hitting houses and, and ears that you never thought it was. That mess is going to spread like a beautiful virus. And when you allow yourself to be that way, you're going to tell yourself, okay, I'm not okay today. I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit mad. I'm a little bit constipated. It's all right. My stomach upset. You know, I'm here. I'm, I'm sitting up here. I'm smelling colors. And I'm hearing, you know, and, and, and I'm hearing something else. You know, hearing images. I don't know. You know, going through something like that. And it's okay. It's okay. Because the strongest people go there. Even the most successful people don't had their moments of failure. You know, there'll be some people that are blessed that they ain't never really had to go through a hardship like that. Like they had to, but they didn't go through a hardship of a hardship. They, you, you know, it'll be probably some people that was built off of a legacy that they're, you know, they're moving on for the next generation. There's other people that got to start from the ground up and maybe that's you, you know. Maybe a lot of times we get mad like, oh, they really don't know what a struggle is. I'm in a moment of struggle. I'm in a poof in a struggle. You know, one of those moments and you're you're going through different stuff like that. Or it'll be different times that you know you, you can hear somebody going through some stuff and be God bless I love you. I love you. Cause you be looking at that person like how the heck did you go through this and still be in a sound mind and body for what you went through. You don't even look like what you've been through. And I'll tell people that if you only knew what I've been through, I wouldn't look like that. You know, I'll be 45 looking like I should be looking like 85. And if you, I don't know what it is when you go through a lot of trauma and you allowing yourself to heal in it and marinate in your trans, transformation, it like you find a fountain of youth. <laughs> you, know, see, you really find a fountain of you. I'm like, shoot, let me look like, shoot, I may be looking like the average Joe right now. I'm going to be like Jonathan when I step out on my glow. What, what you said. You know, be one of those moments. I'm like, I'm okay. Shoot, I'm in my house. I ain't trying to impress nobody. You know, it's like, shoot, when I really want to get done up, you ain't going to be looking like the same person. You know, but it is what it is. You know, I said, I ain't trying to impress nobody. I said, this is me. You know, either you want to accept me for who I am. I was like, shoot, ain't going to always look like this. Hey, I'm going to have my glow up one day. I'm putting that in existence. I don't care what anybody say. And you get to that mode. But you allow yourself to say you have a moment to have that downtime. But when you have that downtime, don't plant yourself there. 
it's that moment where you you know you may have your luggage we all got package we all got you know uh luggage going on with us but don't unpack yourself there it's not meant for you to be that way even though there's sometimes you can see where pain can really gather somebody down to that moment of destroying themselves we can see that you know and a lot of times in life and, and you know and it's sad that we get like that but you can understand you can be like Susie you know you I don't know about you if you, I, I'll be watching sometime I watch TikToks that I gather on where they're showing people that I gotta hold some hardcore drugs or they're um heavy in alcoholism you know, even when people are, are doing, even when people wishing bad on somebody, I see how that mess will speed up, you know, age. I'm like, God, dog, wait a minute, you 24 and you look like you 85. What's wrong with you? You're like, what kind of struggle you don't place yourself in and won't let go? You know, and you be seeing stuff like that. And they ain't even trying to be funny because I'll sit up here and I'll be joking on my own self. I'll be my own joke. Like, ha ha, I'll be laughing like it's funny. And, you know, I'm going like a hip hop parade. But you, when you go through different stuff like that, you know, it, it's like you see where that that sadness of, you know, you trying to deal with your pain by bringing add more pain to your life. And that's what it is to me. It, like I tell people, I used to be heavy on opiates where I don't OD a lot. You know, been going through situations where I got through moments of smoking. I like I was like like this with Bob Marley, you know, shower ranks, whatever. And and been like that chain smoking cigarettes like since I was you know on and off since I was 12 you know drinking you know different stuff like that and I don't do none of the sorts you know and it was at that point where it, it I had to congratulate myself for allowing myself to have a meltdown and that did not have to fall back into addictions because that mess can get heavy and hard at times I give it to anybody when you going through something and it, it could be just wanting to draw you back to a nicotine fit you know, like shoot, pop a daggone piece of gum, get some spearmint, suck the heck out of it and go on, breathe. And if you know you can go through a situation that day and you notice you didn't fall back on a cigarette. And it would be a blessing because it's like my next, next door neighbor, she, you know, she chain smokes until she her own tobacco. You know, my ex, we live in a house together. He smokes like that. And it's just like, I'll go through here and even after I ain't smoked one for a while and I'll be like, oh, I need one. It's like the taste is just different. I'm like, oh, and then to make your clothes stink, it made your face, you know, your skin stink. And I'm just like, this is too much to be wanting to have a little, you know, unwind. And I got to wash my hands and I got to put perfume on. And then I got to go wash my, I'm like, look, <laughs> you just handle this mess like a real G and keep on moving. But it's okay. It's to let you know, it's okay to not be okay every day. Like I said, I, I hate getting into my emotions. Like that was just like, I was like, ugh. Thug, you're like, you know, made you want to thug cry. I don't want to do that. I was trying to have in my inner thugness, my inner hardness. But my weakness came to sprout now a little bit. You know, because going through stuff like that, because it's just like I really try my hardest not to dwell on the painful situations I've been in. Be different times. Like it's okay to talk about that because your feelings aren't there. You are not in that moment. But that's just, there's a lot of people that can relate to that. There's a lot of different things that people are going through that they may need to hear that today. You know, you're going through stuff. It's okay to go through that. You know, you're having that moment of being brave just for allowing yourself to face something that really, truly traumatized you. That is a strong... Oh, man, look. That make you a straight Power Ranger. Like, shoot you up there with God on Decepticon. No, nah, ooh, not a Decepticon. But God on Transformers, you know, the one, the big one. You <laughs> were all on big, but you know that one that's really stuck out. The one that's like, I think he's a truck. I can't remember that one, but I used to love, you know, Transformers. But I'm talking about, you know, not Decepticons, because them Decepticons, we deal with those every day. But I'm talking about the one that's the truck. You know, Bumblebee and that one, you know. But anyways, yeah, you, you are bracing that. You really are bracing that. And those are the different things that you face. That makes you, ooh, that, that makes you a winner, man. And even when you feel like you're losing, you're just allowing yourself, let me face this. Because I see where it keeps me in a moment where I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. Or it keeps me to where I don't even want to, you know, really deal with my hygiene because I'm going through stuff like that. I don't care. I've been in moments like that. You know, people, yeah, oh, look at her. She over here. Cry. I don't care. You can say what you want to, but baby, then between me and you, I'm facing my issues. You dwelling on yours and trying to bring add some more to stuff to somebody else's life. But I ain't going to get on that. But 
you know, it'll be those moments that you really, really have to understand it's okay to not be okay. It's all right to not be strong all the time. Like, if you do, like, baby, that can that can drive you down the insane field that you are not trying to do. You ain't trying to be in that daggone white jacket or that type of situation to be in. Oh, you know, I'll tell people real quick, oh, you over there in Egypt, you over there by the water, ain't you? Like, what are you talking about? Denial. <laughs> you are all up in denial. Come on, come on back, Caroline. Come back from the light. You need to put. Oh, you in that moment? Okay, what you doing in that moment? You in, what in that moment of denial? No, you go. Okay, I can feel your sadness when you walk past me. I mean, there be different times people came in here. You know, my house where I used to kick it when we had smoke sessions. Like, hey, sis, I'm coming in, Lord. You fine? Go back out the door. Why not go back out the door? It's like, okay, you walk back. You knock on the door. Who is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Coming to the door. Like, girl, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? You know, you can see it. It's like, God, dog, I can't keep that. No. And that's before I even knew what was going on. Me. I mean, what's wrong with you? Come on, talk. Because I had one of those moments. I, You know, I used to have, I used to call it Little Jamaica. You come in, people, they're like, girl, I don't want to leave. Okay, you ain't got to leave, but you're going to get the hell up out of here. You know, you're like, be comfortable. They don't want to leave. And I said, that's, that's my sanctuary. I want you to be able to feel a home away from home. And it'll be those moments where you just want to chill and you like, man, I'm going to be over here for 10 minutes and you end up being over here for 3 hours and not even realize it. I'm like, oh, dog, I said I was going to stay only 10 minutes. You're like, okay. It's like we have everything. We got, you know, we got the smoke session. You want a little wine cooler. You want a beer. We got that. You know, we got the music. We going. We chilling. We vibing. It's okay. We're going to talk about our issues and let it free. But when you leave here, I want you to feel so much different. When you leave here, and there'll be so many times where people like Rosalind, when I went over there, I really enjoyed myself. I was really down in the dumps. I said, I know. Even though I didn't say that, I, I pulled you out of that and didn't even really know that was my greatest strength because I know that somebody's going through stuff, and sometimes it's hard for you to project that out to people because it's like, man, I ain't trying to bring nobody down, or you had that situation where I don't want people looking at me a certain way. We all go through it. It's just a lot of times people just don't admit that, they don't want to show it. You know, some people deal with pain by adding pain to other people. And some people deal with their pain by closing up and not letting people in. We all are got our ways of dealing with it. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video, y'all. I would love to give a post not notification shout out to Andrea. Uh, Kelly, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I leave all my contacts. Um, I said situation. If, excuse me. Information. In the description box below, it's all about spiritual networking. Just to be getting involved, you know, people DM me or, you know, send me an uh, email and saying, Hey, Roz, you know, I've been watching a few of your videos and I really, you know, can resonate with it or really vibing with it. And I'm going through this. And it, it it's good when we can connect like that. And they were like, Roz, you don't realize how you just don't make total sense to certain things that I can tell people and they just don't understand me. And then you can come, I've been going through something for 10 years and you just done, um, you know, you just made total clarity to me in five minutes. I love to be able to do that. And I, I tell people all the time, this is, you don't realize this is so ther therapeutic for me. And just being able to connect with people and saying, oh, my effed up in me, recognize the effed up in you. And <laughs> we can vibe, okay, we in this like two, four flats. You know, too cool, you know, too cool for, you know, like the ice cubes in the freezer. You know, we all go through stuff. And just to be able to be vibing with other people like that, where we're we're understanding that we're struggling to overcome things. And we're really trying to make sense of our, our craziness of confusion. There, there's a hidden clarity out of everything, you know. And just to be able to connect with that, you know, I love to be able to do that with people. And whatever we speak on is confidential. I help out the best way I can. Even if you if you love to, you know, listen to a podcast where you may not have a time to listen to a video. I got a few of, of my podcasts that's there that you can listen to as well. Just getting you a moment away from your craziness to just to get a vibe of peace. Or just get a moment of laugh when you feel like crying. You know, I love to be able to do that. And I always tell people, hey, you know, even go on my posts, I'll be having different posts. Like it's, you know, food for thought, you know, friendly reminder, give you funny memes that, you know, empaths so we go through. If you're, you know, you're a Wiccan, Wicca, whatever, you going through some different transmissions and transmissions. You trying to sit up here and go through, you know, a non crazy transition, you know, it's there too. Or just give you an upbeat on just understanding why you feeling a little bit off today, <laughs> you know, so I love to be able to do that as well. 
you know, um, or even if you feel like being generous enough to drop a donation, the Cash App is there too. Whatever vibes you're needing, you know, to whatever you're trying to bring into your reality of the whatever you've been mastering to manifest, you know, I'm giving you all those vibes to keep on continuing to go. A lot of times when something huge is going to come out of our lives, it takes a little bit longer. So don't allow yourself to give up on things that you're being guided to do. Don't give up on it. You know, it may take you, it may take you six months to a year. It may take you three years. It may take you 10 years, but don't allow yourself to give up because there's so many lessons you're learning from just trying to produce something out that it, it can be like a hiccup for somebody else, but it'll be a big blessing for you. So you allow yourself to be going, be very dedicated and motivated, be persistent and consistent with yourself. Don't stay asleep, stay woke. You know, because there's finding out there's so many different things that's hidden within you that you have not yet discovered. So you keep going because, you know, there'll be a lot of people, devil and, and enemies will step up here and sniff out your lightning potential and try to dis make you disown all of that. So you stay, you stay on your job. Okay. Stay on that, you know, because they'll try to convince you to give up today just because they already know there's going to be five doors open in front, you know, endless opportunities for you tomorrow. So you keep going, keep keep going for yourself even through social distance and make sure you give out love light you know uplifting energy you know in all forms you know people really need that and just for you doing that just to be uplifting somebody else is going to take you even further you know be blessed and prosperous throughout this week you know stay safe you know uplift towards you you know everything on, on your way that it really brings you peace i love to send that out to you a million times fold you know much love to you god bless shalom i say namaste you know hey the love and light in you is seeing the love and light in me and i really love that so much love to you see me in my next video peace